Welcome again to City Scene TV. As we get into December and the holiday season, we're going to talk about some fun seasonal activities. First, we're going to welcome back Library Director Joel Rolf to fill us in on the fun stuff happening at the library. And a bit later, we're going to welcome back some folks from the New West Symphony. Uh, but first, let's welcome Joel. Thank you so show. much. This is so fun to be here. The best time of the year to be here and tell everybody what's going on at the library at the moment. Yes, excellent. Thank and can you. I introduce a guest that we have somebody here with us who's going to share the limelight today Absolutely. on telling us what's going on. This is Ayana Gaines and she's our Youth Services uh, Supervisor. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good to have you. Hi. Welcome. Thanks. Well, why don't we start with you? We hear that there's some new and exciting news that you wanted to share with us about some new and improved teen study area? Yes, that's true. Um, on December 5th at 5.30 p.m., or at, on December 5th at 3.30 p.m., we will be having a grand opening of our new young adult area. It'll be fabulous. There'll be cake there, so I'm sure people will come, especially for the cake. But we have more than just cake to offer. Um, it'll be a great space for our young adults to enjoy. Um, plenty of couches, plenty of chairs, space for them to study, outlets. Um, there's Xbox boxes that they can use along with wow. um, Xbox um, controllers that they can actually check out from us. Oh. Um, there will be study rooms, there are televisions for them to use, um, our well-known collection will be there, our graphic novel collection will be there as well. So it will be there um, for people to enjoy and we're really excited about people getting to know and enjoy that new young adult space. Okay, and when was it open? The 5th? It will be the, um, December 5th at 3.30pm. Okay. okay, great. And that's the same hours as a the, as the regular library? Yes. Um, okay. the primarily the space will be enjoyed by our um, young adults during prime young adult hours um, but everyone is who enjoys reading young adult literature like myself um, can go in and find the young adult literature that they're looking for authors like John Green um, and they can go in and check out the books but we're hoping that our young adults take full opportunity at the space and okay. own it because it is a space for them Great. fantastic Great. So on top of those terrific books that you were just telling us about, it sounds like there's going to be some really nice media resources for the young adults. Yes, exactly. Um, the chance for them to get um, to you know play Xbox games. I was just talking to some, a colleague today about some of the games that we're getting. We'll be getting some um, teen games for them later on. Um, there'll be um, you know of course our collection of young of graphic novels, which is very mm -hmm. extensive. Um, I have um, people of all ages looking for those young adult. Um, graphic novels all the time. Um, there's televisions, um, numerous television screens there. There are also a couple of boardrooms that they can use for group study. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are going to be available for them. And Wonderful. the televisions are primarily the, um, to be able to be uh, used, uh, used for presentations. So kids in groups can gather together and work on homework presentations and they can have them live and they can practice them so that when they go back into the classroom they're really professional and polished. Mm -hmm. Um, with the kind of homework that they're doing. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Great. So can you tell us a little bit more about Canopy? Oh, absolutely. This is um, this has been a long time coming, as has the young adult area, actually. And we've been, we're so excited to be able to present this and announce it on the same day as the opening of the young adult area. It's the first time Can uh, Camarillo Public Library has been able to offer live video streaming. And wow. it's thoughtful entertainment. And this is such an exciting time because it's not just for blockbusters. We're still going to be offering the DVDs of the blockbuster movies and the Blu-rays for, for blockbusters that people can check out and, and view at home. But Canopy is thoughtful entertainment in that there's a lot of PBS station, um, uh, programming, um, the Ken Burns series, uh, a lot of uh, Oscar-winning foreign language films and uh, documentary series and the entire cr uh, Criterion collection. There's actually 30,000 live uh, streamed items that people can either watch in the library or at home using their library card to sign up. So this is a That's really, really exciting time to be uh, launching Canopy at the same time as the young adult area opening and ribbon cutting. So right. can't yeah. wait for everybody to sort of get on board with, with our live streaming service. Okay. Fantastic. So I understand <clears throat> um, if you have a library card, you can obviously check out books. Uh -huh. And then it sounds like you can use Canopy also now. Absolutely. But you can also um, 
check out or listen to music? Right? Certainly can. Okay. We have a, a streaming service for music as well. Okay. Um, it's called Freegal, and so you can go on and we have um, purchased the copyright for uh, downloading, and once you have it downloaded, it doesn't go away again, so you can listen to music uh, mm. and uh, with your library card. So you just sign up with your library card and go in and access them every week, and you can listen to different music. Um, all the time, just individual songs or albums, whole albums that, that are available for free with your library card. Would you download them to your device? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Okay. Wow, that's really neat. Yes, it is. It's a really exciting time at the library. Absolutely. This, this time of the year, we've been working on things for a whole year that are just now coming to fruition, and it's, it's the best time to come visit and see what's going on. So tell us, with this time of the season being as busy as it is, do you see it slowing down with your guest speakers and the musical groups? I don't think so, not really. Um, we're still gearing up with a lot of special events. Um, our gingerbread house event has been so popular that it, we've run out of space. Um, <laughs> hopefully next year we'll be able to expand it and offer more space for people. But we have 80 people be, um, between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. who will be making gingerbread houses. That's amazing. Um, our teens will be actually helping out younger children to make gingerbread houses. and. Everyone is so excited to be helping out with that. Um, we'll be showing the movie Love Actually, which has now mm. become a well-loved holiday favorite. <laughs> we'll be showing that on December 21st. Um, we'll be doing a special Hanukkah um, story time telling, two story time tellings actually on Hanukkah, starting on the first night of Hanukkah on December 12th, um, and then again on December 13th. So we're definitely gearing up. We'll have a special visitor coming. We'll be having Santa Claus coming to see us also on December 5th. So he's taking time out from his busy um, toy making schedule to come and see us and read. Um, even Santa, as busy as he is, makes time to read not only to children, but also um, for himself. So it's a great opportunity to come and visit us at the library. Great. So I understand, Joe, that you brought some uh, photos for us. Sure. Certainly did, yes. And this is the uh, our, uh, big uh, portal signage over the portal for the young adult area. This is the new young adult area that will be launching and opening to the public on December the 5th. It'll be the first time people can come in and, and see the work that's been going on. We've actually been in the planning for this event for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So to, to be there is just the most exciting time. And this, of course, is our favorite visitor of the year. Um, and it's Santa, as, as Iana mentioned, who's going to come to read to the children and there's little gifts as well so we do welcome uh, all the children to come and buy uh, come by and take a photograph with him and it's always wonderful for the photograph to be taken every year because yeah. you can see the children mm -hmm. grow <laughs> and sitting on Santa's lap it's like one of those traditional things in Camarillo Absolutely. Yeah. and this is the banner that's going to be going live on our website for canopy that thoughtful entertainment logo here and, and some of those movies and and series that can be downloaded for free with your library card and it's coming up it's going to go live on the 5th as well so mm. everything's happening on the 5th of December this year wow and very very excited about this also something that the city of Camarillo has generously been working on for the whole year um, wireless printing is now available at the library so you can bring in your devices and you can print directly from a phone a tablet wow. a laptop it's wireless wow. printing it's been a long time coming and so worthwhile because it's something that I know our patrons have been asking for and I'm so pleased that we can now say that we've we're offering that service yeah, it makes it so much more convenient when you yes. bring it you know bring it up on your phone just hit, absolutely yeah, and we want to thank the city staff for making this happen as well because it was really much particularly Rod our techno our IT technology mm -hmm. person who was instrumental in making this happen so it was really exciting and it's wonderful to collaborate with the city staff on uh, everything that we do at the library Great. fantastic and this is a movie? Yes, um, Hold That Ghost is a movie that's being hosted by Adult <laughs> Services. They're very excited about it. Um, they're having a lot of great movies that they're showing on Mondays, um, especially intended to stir the memories and the excitement of our older members of the Camarillo community. So um, Hold That Ghost is be a great time for people to go ahead and come in and enjoy a really good laugh. Um, during the holiday season, sometimes it gets a little, you know, 
um, lonely for some people, so coming in for a movie will be great. Um, here we have a picture of a wonderful mural in our young adult area. Mm. It's a beautiful, beautiful mural. It reflects a lot of the same artwork that's been viewed through the rest of the library. Mm. So the young adults will be able to view that same artwork um, and enjoy that same artwork that the other people in the library can enjoy. It's mm. fantastic. All right. Well. It sounds like you, got a, you guys have a lot of things going on in December. You know, pretty busy, yeah. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> so, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the Libby app? Oh yes, certainly Libby. Um, if you go down to an I, uh, go to a, the um, iOS Apple Store or your regular uh, Android Store and download Libby, mm -hmm. it is an app that uh, people can put in your library card one time and access the collection. So whether it's mm -hmm. audio books or or reading material on your device or your tablet or your laptop computer, you can download it from home and you can read it on your on your device itself. Um, okay. So it's a really easy way of doing it. You can go directly to the library website if you want to, but this is an easy way because you don't have to type in your library card every time. Mm. And it's a really cute little character that guides you through your search for an item and um, then it automatically gets checked out to you. And you don't have any library fees either for, for bringing things oh. back in because it just disappears after, after the three week period. Oh, That's fantastic. It is, yeah. Well, I heard you mention earlier something about Hanukkah. Oh, yes. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I have had, for example, friends who are Jewish who sometimes feel that it can be a little difficult um, being Jewish during this time of year, but we are having a special Hanukkah story time. Um, we're having um, Jew um, Hanukkah story t telling um, during the school year or during this, w this winter. Um, we're doing it. On December 12th, as well as December 13th, we're having three special story times for Hanukkah. Um, we'll be doing crafts that are oriented towards Hanukkah as well. Um, so we're, you know, doing some great things for that as well. It's great. Um, we're also doing some um, wonderful activities with our Paws dogs. Our Paws dogs are, you know, welcome and willing to hear any story that any child is willing to read to them. Um, and sometimes they even dress up for Christmas. The dogs oh, yeah. come in and they dress up for Christmas, well, so that's really fun too. Yes. So that's wonderful. It sounds like you guys are, like I said, super busy. We certainly are. This month, yes. so and I, I did want, want to just uh, draw attention to the uh, Navy Gold Star Memorial Tree, okay. which has just been put up um, over the weekend, and it's really to commemorate the people we have lost mm -hmm. um, in the military in mm -hmm. the past year and before. So it is an opportunity for families of the people that we have lost to come and, and spend a few moments with the tree and um, celebrate the lives of the people that we've lost. Mm -hmm. uh, we, do, we, we really care about the people in the community and sometimes this season can be a difficult time for those people right. so it's Absolutely. a time for people who are alone <laughs> who have people in their family who they have lost and for families to share yes. um, it's a it's an amazing place for community togetherness in, okay. in the library well great so we're out of time I'd like to thank both of you for appearing on City Scene TV Thank you so much. You. And we just wanted to say happy holidays to everybody, all our patrons, and please come visit us soon. Yes.